hello and welcome to the video. This is going to be a tour of my most important equipment, the gear that I'm using every day to create new music and videos. First up, and isn't she a stunner, it's the Minel Artisan Series, the Fandango Line Cajon. It's been about a year now and I'm still blown away by the sensitivity, the sound and just how it feels to play. And here's another sound you guys might recognize. So this is the hand pan and in this recording I've done something a little creative with some delay and reverb and I think the reason it works is each of these notes around the hand pan are tuned to a scale and so they all harmonize beautifully with each other so when the sounds overlap it creates all these kind of beautiful combined tones. Uh, so this instrument has just been Oh, just something really special to me over the last year as well. And there's a seamless transition. Here we go. Some microphones, Audix i5. I use that on the front of the cajon. And uh, down the bottom is the Audix D6, which goes on the back of the cajon. And a little later in the video, I'll show you how all of that's connected and my recording system. One of the goals that I've had over the last year, since we haven't really had many opportunities to play music with other people, has been to just try and expand as much as possible what I can do by myself. So getting into other percussion like these awesome bongos has been a huge step in that direction. And uh, these shakers, well, I've just been using them for ages. So good. Uh, but this jam with the shakers and the bongos and the cajon just all came together really nicely. I had a lot of fun making it. Yes, so the last video that went up on the channel was about getting started with brush-based grooves, but different brushes have different sounds, so maybe in the next video I'll use the husk brushes, those ones on the left there. Alright, so we're going to get a little bit deep in this next part of the video, but I just want to say that I think one of the big reasons that we have music is that it's so effective at bringing us back into the here and now. When you listen to music, when you play music, that's often the time when you feel like you're living in the present. So when you pick up an instrument like this, this is a sonic energy wave drum. Once you hold it in your hands and you start to move it around, you, you really change your state of mind. It really has this, of course, a very relaxing effect, but combined with these singing bowls, I like to kind of make a little soundscape and then combine it with some uh, video footage and well, I don't know, I just want to show you, but we're just going to have a little relaxing session for the next little minute or so in this video. Here we go. And we're back. I love these headphones. Um, they're really useful. They have a three meter long cable. So when you're recording something, you never feel like uh, I'm out of like cable length. Um, they're really comfortable. They sound really good. And uh, I don't know, I think they're probably gonna last me my entire life. They're super durable too. All right, so this is what I'm using for electronic music at the moment, which I, I really enjoy making. This is a teenage engineering they call it the OPZ, and uh, it's a little multimedia sampler, sequencer, synthesizer, and you can make all kinds of interesting layered rhythms and beats on this. I'm actually working pretty hard right now on a new album slash multimedia project, which I will eventually release. And it's metronome time. So this is still my favorite metronome, the Boss DB90. And uh, I'm practicing trying to bury the click, which means that the timing of my hits is so on the beat that you can't even hear it anymore. It's really difficult, but we'll get there eventually. 
Now, I also like to spend a lot of time, even though I'm not on the drum set so often, I do like to spend a lot of time on this practice pad. And uh, in this little bit of audio, I'm practicing with a website called RhythmBot that generates endless random rhythms. Okay, so this is the recording setup. That red box is a Scarlett interface. And then the two mic leads come out to the microphones that I have and they are connected to the little Mac Mini over there. So it's really, really simple, pretty portable, um, but if you have any questions, just ask. And so this is the Fujifilm X-T4 that I've been using since last year with a microphone on top, that's a Rode video mic, and that's what I use for all the talking sections in my videos uh, other than voiceovers like this, but that just goes straight into the camera. Yeah, it all works really well. And here are the applications I use most on the computer, Final Cut for video, Logic Pro for audio, and Pixelmator Pro for still images. And another thing that I've absolutely loved over the last year is getting into vinyl records, finding old, rare recordings as well as my favorites. But if you'd like a video maybe going through some of my favorite records, let me know in the comment section down below. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Looking forward to sharing something more with you next time.